Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we are going to look at the concept of common user versus local user. So who is a common user? A common user is a database user account that is created in the root container database and same user account is also found in all the pluggable databases in that particular CDB, including future pluggable databases. Now, the common user it has this privilege that he is found in not just the container database, but in also all the pluggable databases that, that are connected to that container. And also, if you create any new pluggable database, that user is automatically found in that pluggable database. Okay, now examples of common users are actually the sys user and the system user. These users are examples of common user. It is also important for you to note that you can create common user, but you must prefix it with the C hash hash. This is actually the standard prefix. Example, if you want to create a user, you know, to me, a common user to me, you will have to prefix it with C hash hash before you are able to create a common user. Okay, you cannot just create a common user in the container database without adding this prefix. This is very important to take note of. On the other hand, a local user is created in a specific pluggable database and cannot be found in the container database. An example of a local user is the HRO user in the pluggable database, OROCL PDB. Okay, so let's actually um, look at some of the scripts we have on our SQL developer and then let me try to explain the concept of common user and local user. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to show the container I'm connected to. Of course, you know the command by now, show con underscore name. So I'm connected to the root database. Okay, and then let me see the status of the pluggable database. Um, you can see that OROCL PDB is open in read-write mode, and then all the other pluggable databases are actually mounted. Now, let me go ahead and open all the other pluggable databases okay, by issuing the command alter pluggable database all open. I'll execute this. All right, so um, all the pluggable databases have been opened successfully. So now let's run this query. Let's run this query. Select username, common, container ID from cdb underscore users order by username so let me execute this and then you can see the output now let's take a closer look at the output okay you can see this user anonymous is a common user is found in container id 6 which is a pluggable database container id 3 which is another pluggable database Container ID 4, which is another pluggable database, and of course, Container ID 1, which is the root database. So yes, Anonymous is a common user. And then let's look at another common user again, maybe like um, User Sys. You can see User Sys is a common user. It's found in Container ID 4, which is a pluggable database. It's found in Container ID 1, which is the root database. It's found in Container ID 6. And then, of course, container ID 3. Now, these are all the pluggable databases that are open right now. So, the sys user is a common user. Now, let's look for the HRO user, for instance. Um, let's, look at, let's, let's look at the HRO user. So, this is the HRO user. And you can see that the HRO user is found in container ID 6, which is a pluggable database. And, of course, container ID 3. Now, I'll tell you why why the HRO user is also found in container ID6. Now, this is because we cloned the pluggable database OROCL PDB to some other pluggable database, which is um, PDB test. 
Okay, that's why the HRO user is also found there. But you can observe that the HRO is not a common user. So take note that a local user can actually be found in multiple pluggable databases, okay, but not a container database. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do is to select distinct username from cdb underscore users where common is equal to yes. Okay, we don't want the names repeated, you know. Um, more than once. So we are using the query select distinct username from cdb underscore users where common is equal to yes. So I'm going to execute this query and then you can see now we have sys system. We don't have you know sys appearing multiple times again. Let's count rows. You can see 36 rows. All right. Now the next thing we want to do is to select username common the container ID from CDB underscore users where common is equal to no. So we want to select all users that are not common users. Okay. So I'll execute this and then you can see H arrow is not a common user because he's local to just the pluggable database with container ID six and then the pluggable database with container ID three. Now PDB, PDB1 admin is a local user because it's local to just pluggable database with container ID4. And then PDB admin is not a common user, is a local user because he's local to just PDB with container ID6. And then also this PDB admin, okay, for container num ID3. So all of these users are not common users, they are local users okay so for us to see the the prefix that is used to create common users okay we'll have to query this parameter by issuing the command show parameter common underscore user underscore prefix okay if i execute this you will see the value as c hash hash you get the point now and to be sure um i'll execute the query to know which of the databases I'm connected to. So if I say show con underscore name, okay, and execute this query, I'm actually in the CDB dollar sign root. That's to show that I'm in the root database. So I mentioned earlier that you cannot create a user in the container database, in the root database without using the prefix c hash hash so if i try to create this user if i try to execute this query create user h3 identified by h3 i'll get an error because i'm trying to create this user in the roots database without using the prefix c hash hash so let me execute this and then you see the error message you can see error invalid common user or role names so you can see that it's not possible to create a common user in the root database without using the prefix C hash hash. So let me now execute this query to create the user C hash hash H3 identified by Ebony. So if I execute this query, you see that it, it runs successfully user C hash hash H3 has been created. So for us to confirm, let's execute this query now. Select distinct username from CDB underscore users where common is equal to yes. Okay. So we execute this query and then we can see the user C hash hash H3 as a common user. Now, I want us to do something very, very different. I'll clear this now and let me alter the session and you know set the container to the pluggable database so i'll issue the command alter session set container equal to orcl pdb session has been altered let's be sure show container underscore name and then you can see i'm actually in the pluggable database orcl pdb now let me create this user create user eno identified by eno now, I'm creating this user in the pluggable database, take note, and not in the root database. 
So this user will actually be a local user. So I create this. You can see user and or created. Now, for us to be sure, let me execute this query. Select username, common, container ID from cdb underscore users where common is equal to no. Okay? Order by username. So I will execute this query. And you can see that the user enter is not a common user. You can see the common column is no. That means this person is not a common user, but a local user. And then the user is found in container ID3, which is container ID3, the pluggable database ORCL PDB. Guys, now I need to say this, okay, before I end this lecture. In real life, we don't get to create common user and all whatnot. So why am I bringing this up to you? Very simple. For those of you that want to take the certification exam, you are surely going to meet this as one of the exam questions. So this is why I am taking my time to explain this. It's not like in real life situation, you have to create a common user. No, we usually don't do that. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.